All right, look, you beat me again. Can we just get on with this now? James, mate, you got to lift. Come on, let's go. Fine. <sighs> All right, Ryan, they're gearing up for a big St. Paddy's Day here at Finn McCool's, but you and I, we're gearing up for a big day of racing on Saturday. We've got big action across two tracks. Who do you like? Yeah, James, All-Star Mile Day and the Coolmore Classic. Hopefully, we've got the luck of the Irish on our side. We're going to kick it off at Caulfield in race seven, the mystic journey between the Phillies and the Mares. I'm pretty keen on Peace Treaty here. Impressive three-year-old out of the Freedman camp. Look, she's won three of her four starts so far during her career. We haven't seen her since December where she came out and won the gold carrot at Mooney Valley, leading all the way and really finding something extra at the top of the straight to kick clear and win quite well. She's seen really good support though coming off a recent jump out where she sped out to lead by something like 10 lengths and then held that margin all the way to the line. I think she's going to prove very tough to beat here on class and look, she might be a sphere above most of her rivals in a race like this. All right, so we've got the All-Star Mile. It's shaping up as a bit of a one-horse race, no pun intended. <laughs> Tell me you've got some good value. Look, hopefully, James, I'm finding it very hard to back against Mr. Brightside. We know his record over the mile. He's the defending champ and looking to become the first horse to win this race in back-to-back -back years. There's been some concerns about the wide gate, and I do think that's understandable, but I think this field's going to spread out nice and early. He likes to race up on the speed, so I don't think it's a huge disadvantage for him. For a bit of value though, I'm going to have a same race multi and include Ayrton to run top four. He's been up for a while, but uh, was very impressive in the blamey stakes last start at Flemington, where he ran a place and probably would have won if he found a clear air at the top of the straight. He goes really, really well here at Caulfield. He's drawn much kinder on this occasion. And uh, as one of the wild card slot holders, I think he can run a really nice race here. Well, plenty of speed in the name Ayrton as well. And finally, let's go to the Coolmore. Who do you like? Yeah, we'll head to Rose Hill, James. Um, look, Waller won this race last year and I'm with him again. I'm gonna go with Zoo Gotcha on top. Uh, only a few mares have won this race carrying 57 kilos over the last decade, but I think she can add to that record. Very impressive winner of the Millie Fox Stakes first up. Uh, form that's been franked with Lady Laguna coming out and winning the Canterbury Stakes last Saturday. She's a Group 1 winner in her own right, and I think if she's uh, settling just off the speed in the early stages, she's going to prove very hard to hold out. Just for my sake, can we just recap who you've got on Saturday? Absolutely. So we're going to go on the Mystic Journey, Caulfield Race 7. I like Peace Treaty on top. Very next race, the All-Star Mile worth $3.75 million. I'm having a same race multi, Mr. Brightside to win, and Ayrton to run top four. Finally, we're over to Rose Hill where I've gone with Zoo Gotcha on top in the Coolmore Classic. All right, Ryan, sounds good. Looking forward to Saturday. Let's do it. What's gambling really costing you? For free and confidential support, call the number on the screen or visit the website.